Hello Tubesters, it's Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today is a look at a 1 in 56 uh, scale model kit. It's the LVT A1 or LVT A4 uh, landing vehicle tract. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Vietnam recently. Uh, unfortunately I can't get any Vietnam uh, kits in the scale of 1 in 28. You can get resin ones, Empress sell them, and some white metal kits as well for the small things like the mule, uh, you know, and the um, recoilless rifle and things like that. Uh, but I wanted a kit. Now, these guys, Rubicon models, are doing a Vietnam range, they say. So it's supposed to come out sometime this year. And I thought, what the heck? While well, I've got some money burning my hole, hole in my pocket, I would uh, get one of these. Uh, of a you know more or less a model of my choice, uh, knowing that it's not going to be for the Vietnam era, and um, just to see what their kits are like, uh, because if I didn't think much to them, then I wouldn't have to get one of the Vietnam ones. Uh, I bought this from uh, Jadlam Racing, uh, very favourable on the prices. Uh, this was twenty three pound, I believe, up to twenty four pound, something like that. Uh, very quick delivery. All that stuff was really great. There's a but coming though. I got mine dispatched in one of these heat shrink, heat, heat wrapped plastic bags. And this is getting more prevalent with companies now. Uh, I do believe, to be fair to Jadlam, I think when I bought my Puma APC a while ago, that came in a box. Now, whether they have a price line, you know, over 25 quid, you get a box, I don't know. But the inevitable's happened with mine, and it's all crumped in on one corner. Yes, the model isn't damaged, but these are end opening boxes, which means they aren't strong. Right? Good enough to sit on a, in, you know, in, a, in a shop for a while, um, but to be posted out to somebody where you're relying on the client, just going, oh, well, you know, uh, I don't really care about the box. I do care about the box, and there's a lot of us that will. Um, put them going like this. <laughs> Don't know why, because my stash is in the other, is in a different cupboard. But sometimes they're going to be sitting in model stashes for a while. And also, it's a new product. I didn't buy this. If 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 I bought this off eBay second hand, and somebody had said to me, "Box is damaged," and I bought some like that, not a problem. This was new. I don't expect model kits from any company to be sell, sold, uh, sorry, dispatched in a plastic bag. Uh, I've had books sent to me in plastic bags. Will the books? I'm looking at you. Uh, it's just not on. You know, I don't care how hard it is to find cardboard or whatever. Um, don't offer, well, it's not really free shipping because it would be built into the price, but don't offer cheap shipping if you can't protect the contents of what you're sending. It, it just stinks. There you go. Rant over with. But yeah, they were delivered to me on schedule, on time. The price is favourable, but now that you know, whoever's decided you're going to ship boxes out, sorry, ship well, ship model kits out in plastic bags, you really need to think again, because I'll just go somewhere else to where I can, if if I've got to spend a five or more, you know, if I've got a, if I've got a, if I've got a, if I want my kit intact, as it would have been on the shop shelf. Right, rant over with. Let's go down to the bench and have a look at this. I'm having to read here because it's. Couldn't just call it an alligator or a buffalo. Buffalo was, I believe, the British and Canadian called it, and the uh, alligator was the nickname the, the Americans called it. Uh, by the way, they came in lots of uh, varieties, and you can get this from Rubicon in lots of varieties. Uh, I'm going to be doing the howitzer version, uh, which we'll be going to have a look at in a second. Um, but they do the normal cargo version with a couple of machine guns mounted at the front and you could drive a jeep in the back. I do believe, I can't remember if it's the Tank Museum or Duxford uh, that have got an example and I will be putting a couple, either one or two links up to uh, preserved examples that are actually owned by collectors or whatever and you can see them moving, hear the sound of what one of these uh, uh, sounded like. Uh, I'm not going to go in, there is a history on the back and I do know little bits and pieces but I'm going to stuff it up. Uh, suffice to say, the idea came, I think these were built before the war as rescue craft uh, down in the bios and that of, of, of the United States. Uh, but 
their main task is obviously rather than being a landing craft infantry uh, getting these uh, marines or the army the army fought through the islands as well in the pacific uh, to the uh, beach and then obviously they run off will run up the, the beach these could drive uh, onto the beach up the beach and deposit their guys a bit further in or amongst the enemy uh, the two turreted versions that you're going to be seeing because this comes with two two options uh, they were there to give additional firepower uh, you know whether it's to try and take out bunkers or even the few Japanese tanks that uh, that, that were around uh, although not necessarily engaged I mean tank to tank warfare but you know they, they could do that uh, I believe the early ones weren't armoured and I do believe these gun ones did have some form of armour on them uh, but don't quote me on that. Let's go down to the bench anyway and have a look. Right guys, thanks for joining me at the bench. Let me just make sure I don't knock this tripod over. I've uh, taken the main overhead light off just to get the glare down to a minimum. Right, so that's the top of our rather stoved in box. Uh, as I've said, it's a uh, side opening box, uh, which means then, I mean, it does feel sturdy at the the corners, and it had to be to take that bash, uh, um, but it is a side opening box. Uh, you get two variants. Uh, as you can see, uh, this LV, the LVTs, uh, we'll call them the one and the four. Uh, no, I don't know which is which. They come uh, with the Stuart Light tank uh, turret, uh, more or less straight off the Stuart Light tank, uh, and there's a couple of either 50 or 30 cals at the rear of the uh, tank turret version. The other version, the one I'm going to be doing, is from the M8 Scott, uh, which is also built on the, the Stuart Light tank, and uh, that's got the howitzer, as you can see in the background, a howitzer and a, a, just a 50 cal, uh, it's not got the, the sponsons on the back um, but you do get two options uh, and we'll show that on the in the spruce uh, in a bit uh, side uh, just tells you again what it is uh, we've got our information on the back uh, now what obviously I've had a look at the kit already I've taken them out the crispy heat, uh, heat seal bags just to get the noise down a bit this is the only colour call out what you'll get. Uh, it just says olive drab, uh, black grey, um, Vallejo acrylics recommended. Uh, there's no, as far as I'm aware, uh, I've gone through the instructions because they're not, uh, they're not, you know, particularly, uh, they're comprehensive enough to build the, the, the vehicles, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they, they, they don't, uh, there's not much. Uh, extras involved there so that there's also which is more of a problem for me is yes they've got this big thing here saying you know includes water slide decal sheet and you get and you get all this here the big shark's mouth uh, different vehicle numbers you know you've got charlie alpha um obviously the different invasions uh, well, you know uh, recognition stars uh, and a few names on them as well uh, for vehicles and, and obviously the first aid version. I don't know if, if obviously this. I would imagine this would be a decal option for 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 the entire range. Now, apart from this here, I can't see any place where they actually tell you um, where to place your decals. So you're going to have to go on to, you know, just crib stuff online. Really, I'm afraid. Uh, built in China, it says here. So yeah, that's our box. I don't normally go into the boxes. It's just that I've never built one of these before. Uh, as I say, it's 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 a one in fifty six, and and that would correspond to if you're not uh, familiar. If you've, I don't know if you bothered to watch the the Vietnam. Well, but that's a twenty eight millimeter figure, and these are used uh, mainly for war gaming. They also say for collectors as well, um, but. Um, that's what they're there for. Let's get our main light back on again. Right, we've got one, two, three, appears to be four sprues. Let's have a look at the sprues. Uh, they're done in a, like a sage green um, plastic. Right, sorry guys for the stuttered start. Uh, 
I just had to change the battery over. Yeah, it's a sage green plastic. Uh, it's very crisply moulded. Very crispy indeed, to be honest with you. Uh, the plastic seems a nice hard plastic, not soft. Um, again, if you you know this is a smaller scale and it's it's done for war games, so expect simplification. Uh, we've got our thirty cals here. That would be for the sponson, uh, you know, for the sponsons on the back of the other one. Uh, so that'd be good for your spares box. Uh, got the recoil mechanism because at least I believe the M8 has an open turret, I might be wrong. Uh, we've got our M8 barrel, short stubby thing, uh, very nicely moulded 50 cal, where are we? Let's get in a bit if we can. Uh, there's no daylight in between the for the carrying handle barrel changeover, I should say, of the, of the 50, but as I say, this has got to be robust for a war games table. Uh, again, we've got a pre made all our um, uh, <laughs> hand wheels and that for adjusting the gun, <laughs> for, for want of a better word. Uh, our turret appears to be obviously in two halves. So we'll see what the seam look, line looks on that. But yeah, on there's our uh, our barrel. Is it 45 mil for the uh, for the Stuart turret? Got a bit of bolt detail. Just catch it under the lights. So that's our first sprue. As I say, it's not it's not going to take long for once for one of Gav's videos. We've got the sides on our LVT. There we go. That's just because I've got it. Let's pan back out again for a bit. There we go. As I say, the, the British and the Canadians used it uh, under the Buffalo uh, nickname. And in Europe, it was used in the Shell Testery uh, when we retook Antwerp. The Germans had flooded a lot of the low low countries and we used these quite extensively uh, to, to move uh, soldiers and uh, equipment around, supplies, uh, even probably getting some of the civilians out of the flooded areas, although don't quote me on that, it would seem logical though. Uh, we also crossed the Rhine in these as well, uh, but I, I'm not sure if we had the turreted versions, I, I know we had obviously just the, the ones with maybe a you know skate ring with a 50 cal on, looks like we've got some boat hooks there. I believe it. Well, there are probably our exhausts. Well, I thought the exhaust came out the side, but I might be wrong. We've got some lights there as well. We've got our main deck. Again, I'm not seeing any, I've got to say, I'm not seeing any sink marks. Um, I'd say these could probably, these are obviously quite fresh moulds by the look of them. It might weld. It's not not really oily, but you might you you might want to just give these a, a wipe over in, in some soapy water. Again, we've got our fuel caps here and uh, and a, a few bolt details. I so say they're going to be you know if they are simplified. I, I don't know enough about. Them. I've always wanted to build one of these. I was going to build one of these in one in thirty five scale, which is what drew me to it. Um, we've got our thirty thirty and its ball. Mount which is goes on the front, drive sprockets, but I'm not seeing any flash. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously we've got to build it yet, which it will be built more or less straight away. Um, but yeah, nice. And our last sprue, we'll have a look at the instructions as well. Here's our tracks. They come in uh, in sections, so because the way they are on the mounted on the the LVT itself, I'm just having a look at the just picture of the instructions here. Um, you probably might want to do those off the, 
you know, before you actually stick them, stick them together, maybe. Uh, you know what I'm like with tracks. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with these ones? It will do. Uh, there's something about cutting these off in the instructions as well. I believe it's these. Um, obviously, probably for the other variants, these little raised bits here. This is our our floor, real bottom of the hole, whatever you want to call it. And these would be our sides that then the armoured sides, or the, at least the sides, go on. So that's it. That's our spruce. I say it's in a grass. It's sage green or sage green, grey, however you want to call it, green grey. Probably green grey. Right. Let's have a quick look at these instructions. Can we get back, Gav? And get them all in. Come on, Gav. There we go. Right. Yeah, there's your two options, as I say, and this is the one I'll be doing. Uh, just because I've always fancied doing an M8 Scott, so I thought, well, hey, <laughs> best of two. For, I'm getting to do an LVT and an M8. Uh, obviously, it's got our sprue call out there. Obviously, usual keys to what they say is, uh, you know, cut and trim, bend, all that's good stuff. Uh, I put these, I think these were separate on top, but I put these in the in the instructions uh, yeah as I say um, you know we've got hang on let's see five uh, yeah five going up to five being steps because you can do a waterline version by the way and that's that so you know for the war gaming table or even if you were going to do it for a little a little dio um, you just remove a, a very small part of the track making it mechanism there and uh, Put it in your, your resin or whatever you're going to do. So yeah, it's uh, you know, just not go through them all. It's it's not really worth it. But um, as I say, that the the turret is multi multi part. You know, sides sides back. Uh, the Stuart. Oh, I can't remember all the M versions, but let's just call it the Stuart uh, turret version is sealed up. Uh, but again, you know, doing a bit of modelling, uh, you could easily open that, although there'd be nothing there, but you could easily open that. They do sell, it says, pewter uh, figures for crew. Uh, I haven't got any. And uh, by the look of it, yeah, the, the M8 uh, howitzer version is, um, is open plan. So yeah, there we go. Not really great to, to see. Uh, these are the decals. Let's have a look at them. So we can get the glare off them. Glare off again. Right. Uh, I'm not going to open the decals up, um, but as I've said before, you've got some obviously st stripes to presumably they're single stripes and they're double stripes. Presumably gives you the individual vehicle. I have no idea. Or, um, but then again, it's got the numbers of the numbers of the vehicle as well. Uh, we've got the usual US uh, USA stencils. You're not going to show up very good there. You've got little names like Sea Devil. What else we've got? Beautiful Queenie, Sphinx, the Memphis Belle, Mildred, and the Black Swan. Uh, we've got stars in millimeters here. It says on that this what these black bits are six mil, five mil. Um, but as I say, as far as I'm aware, and there's not even even anything saying, go onto our website to see where you put them. They are really leaving you to your own devices on that. Um, so I think it's going to take a just a bit of bit of viewing. I mean, I've seen a fair bit of Amtrak since I bought it. I've been looking at a few Amtrak videos, but. Uh, yeah, I just think it's going to obviously be a bit of a look to see where they were applied. Um, yeah, uh, kit-wise, it looks absolutely lovely. You know, it's a, you know oh, how simplified it is. I've, although I've been watching some videos, I'm not, I can't say I've been looking at them in depth to see where all the the rivets and bolts go and whatever. Um, and as I say, that primarily these would probably be used on the war games table. Uh, but as they say, can also be used as standalone, you know, as we would do with any other model kit, you know, just to put in your cabinet. Uh, they don't take a lot of room up. Um, 
let's just put that one back so as, as I'm talking. Uh, yeah, you know, they're not going to take a lot of room up um, if you're going to use them for that. You know, you could put them on a little base, uh, you know, some sand, palm tree crushed underneath it, whatever. Um, but uh, I just fancy doing one just to see what the, if I ever get my hands on an M48 for the Marines in Huey, um, I just fancy, you know, while I've got some money, actually giving one a, a go to build and put together. Uh, and I'll just probably pop it on eBay when I've finished, see if I can sell it off. Uh, stowage, uh, obviously you don't get any. I mean, this one's showing, it looks like some tarps. Uh, they do sell stowage sets. Um, but, you know, if you're going to do something, it wouldn't be hard to knock something up. Obviously, because it's a different scale than what a lot of us do. Um, you probably haven't got anything that really, really uh, equates to the scale. But, you know, you could always knock yourself some tarps up and, and whatever, if you wanted to. Right, guys, thanks for joining me at this, uh, this, this review. As I say, I've never built a Rubicon model uh, before. Uh, it looks, you know, as I say, to, you know, you'll get a... A modeling kick out of it and you know if you're a gamer you get a gaming kick out of it as well what's not to love so look after yourselves guys uh coming up what have we got coming up uh we, i'm still still blooming staggering along with the starfighter not that it's causing any trouble particularly uh, it's just been fitting it in i've got the french foreign legionary commission i'm working on at the moment and i've just restarted to repaint the blooming ranger figure of that set uh, the client gave me a ranger to try out as well I wasn't happy with the camo, so I've, I've redoing that. Um, and once that's done and approved by the client, uh, I'll put a final video up of that, and I can get those posted out to him. And then I want to really knuckle down with the Starfighter and get it done over a couple of days, hopefully, you know, two or three days. Get that done uh, before I start anything else. So look after yourselves, uh, and we will catch each other very soon on another video.